Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2, episode 70. My goodness, what a lot of episodes we've been making. And there's going to be a lot more, by the way, from what I can see from the quests and whatever else, there's a lot to do. So, what I'm planning to do is to make an introductory episode, and on that introductory episode I will list what I put in the description of the comments here. Um, well, I'll basically keep the description on that one up to date with the things that have happened so you can find particular processes if you're interested. So anyway, let's get on with today's tasks. And I think today's task is to carry on with what we've been doing before. And that's to try to get this steel hole and the tungsten plating made. So I'd like to do this tungsten plating, or at least start to do that today. So let's get on with that. I think that's what we're going to do first. Let's have a look. What have I got for... Um, can I need the base too? I still need these plates, don't I? Oh, we need dash, of course. Now, the dash should have been actually. Oh, we've got dash, I think. Because I stuck that other quarry, and we've got a 260 dash. And we need about 16 blocks. I think I'll do about one and a half stacks of this. We'll smelt this down. In fact, no. Let's take two stacks of that. Because um, there's no other uses for it other than to smelt it down. Well, raw dish doesn't seem to have any of the uses except for it to be smelted. So let's do that. Shove that into there. That'll get cooked fairly quickly. And I want to have a look what we've got for compressed plates. We haven't got any in there. Let's have a look. I'm not sure what we have got, in fact. So the one I'm looking for is, of course, the steel hull, and I'm basically trying to do the machine parts. So dense refined iron, 32 in these silicon plates. I think I have to check. Anyway, while that's doing that, I should have finished this just about now. So let's take out what we've got and see how much that goes towards completing what we need. I think it was 17 blocks of dash or something like that. Hopefully we're not going to need tons and tons of dash, so it's going to give me another eight. That's not going to be enough, is it? So it's basically seven box per stack. So what have I got in here now? 15, 23, we need another seven. So another stack. Oh, actually, we've probably got enough for that stack then. I think it's 32 we need in total. Seven plus one ingot. Hopefully my arithmetic is okay today. No, it's not. So we need another two blocks. So we need another 18 ingots. So that's a dash again. Well, that's still another stack and a half. It gets used up fairly fast, just doesn't it? Especially if you're using it in block form. I wonder what it's going to look like. I'm going to have to check something out, by the way. Let's look for the rocket again. Uh, I've got a horrible feeling is it tier 3 spelt like that yes it is I wonder heavy duty plates oh yes look lots and lots of ooh, bed rocky mingots as well to make one of these heavy duty plates that's a lot of stuff and we got to make 20 of those We've got another machine hull. Oh, this is actually looking at this, it's really mm, very, very, very expensive. So, anyway, we should have that enough there to do what we're doing for one steel hull. So, I better go and set up that quarry back on, Mar on Mars again, the big one, and so it could carry on working. I think it's turned off at the moment. Anyway, we need two of these, so let's take all of it and put that into here. So now we have the 32. So what we need to do here is this lot the machine parts. These are for another um, sieve, auto sieve. I, for, I took the five wall out for some reason or other because I'd forgotten what it was doing. So let's just double check the whole recipe. So yes, we need one. So all we need is some more of these machine parts. So let's get those started. And then after that, we're going to have a look at doing automation of Enderium, I think. 
um, and then it's also check what's been happening with the um, Mar the Venus quarry if we've actually got any sulfur last time I looked we hadn't got any so I'll put this away here don't need that so um, what did I say I wanted to do oh yes plates we've got 576 of those and I don't have a recipe for this let me try to make a recipe for this let's take a stack of those I think it's worthwhile doing this but I don't have any inter automation on the compressor yet but I don't see why we don't need to make let's tow this as well let's automate this thing it's a good idea it's not as though we're short of stuff is it what have we got in here let's take this out of there like that oh we've actually got 21 so what we need to do to the, do that is basically it'll come into this chest if I don't put anything on it so we basically need another ME interface I'm going to do a flat one because it looks a bit better on these type of machines so let's put the ME interface there and then just cable it across it just uses two cables instead of one but then less of a problem these days good so what we now need to do here is we need to go and get um, do we need uh, a pattern so let's oh we do have enough stuff good so we need basically nine of these we'll make one of these good and have I got a recipe for these as well so let's have a look over here we've got plenty of recipe books good so basically it's a process recipe so we need nine of those to make one of those and I'm going to put those away because I can't do it like that without this in the place. So now I think we can do that. So if I was checking here if I've got a steel plate, yes I have, fantastic. So we can put this recipe in here like that. So we should now be able to ask for plates, but of course they're not going to come out. So I'm going to have to remove this chest. Uh, yes, let's remove this chest. It'll throw some stuff in the air, I'm sure of it, like lots. So have I got have I got a chest on me? No. Let's go over here and let's push some stuff into here. Plates. Yeah, that'll do. Refine down plates as well. We don't need those. I think that's everything. We'll just go back in here we'll pick up anything else we've got left over. Or should we have to got some more? I think that was supposed to there's still some mustard floating around, I can see it. So that one, that one, and the hopper. I think that'll do for now. Let's go back in here, good. So what we'll do have to do on here, of course, we'll have to put an import bus to make the thing actually work properly. So have we got an import bus? Yes, we have, good. I'll bring up the cable up here like that. Aha, shift click it. Ah, then it connects to everywhere. It doesn't really matter that it connects to everywhere like that, but uh, it's a bit ugly. So, right, so now we should be able to craft encoded this one, so we should be able to craft a dense refined iron. So let's see how many we've got. And we want to make 64. Oh, so let's have a look. Dense refined iron, plates. So we've got 21 of these. So we want to we'll do another, we want 32, don't we? So that's 11 plus 32, 43. So let's craft 43 of these. Let's start that. Now they should come in fairly quickly, I hope. We also need some silicon plates, which you've actually got already. We'll craft another 64 of those as well. Stop. Oh, it should matter where to start doing from, does it really? Good. So that's now working fine. So we should have. I want to take those with me downstairs when they're actually completed. Because we can also craft refined iron plates if the machine's in the right mode. We'll double check that first. This is where I need to build some more of these. And the trouble is, why I haven't been doing this is because these overclocker upgrades are very expensive 
time consuming. It's really the problem with snow and I haven't figured out a way if we can actually make snow better than the way I'm doing it at the moment. Anyway, that's all. 64. Well, my arithmetic was good for a change. A pleasant change. So let's put those into the assembling machine here. I've got one. I only need to make 61 of those. Never mind. Oops. Yeah, rubbish. Let's get that into place. Good. So those will make these parts. We'll make another two. So we've got a long way to go with that one. But one of the things we do need to make a lot of, it looks like, is Enderium. So let's do that. Ah, uh, no. I want to do something else first. I definitely want to do something else first. I want to do the blocks. So let's go back upstairs and get these blocks. Because what I'd like to do is to get this crafting recipe for the tungsten plating. And we can get started on that as well. So let's clear that off now. We want It's just a straightforward crafting recipe. So we want a block of gold, for example. Let's have a look at the recipe for that one. Let's shift that in there. Then we make one of those. I am going to have to go downstairs a lot unless I get rid of all the stuff in my inventory, which I'm going to do by putting down a chest here, like that, and clicking it and clicking control space onto that, and taking the one I actually want. We will take another ME interface as well. Good. I'll probably have to make some more patterns. What else do we need? We need a block block of nickel we don't actually need. Block of irons we do want. This one. Oops, I want the recipe for that, don't I? We need a block of aluminium. Yeah, that'll do fine. Let's have a look. I hope it's the right recipe. If it's not, then it's a bit of a pain. So, what happened here? Block of aluminium turn it report. Oh, yes, that'll do. So long as it works with the right type of aluminium that we're actually producing from ingots, I am sure. So let's have a look at what else we've got. Aluminium ingots. Do you know, I'm not sure. Let's switch this over to craftable. Tin ingots. Let's craft. I think we should have tin ingots from thermal expansion. Let's get those out. Change that there to tin. We only need one of these, don't we? Is that a thermal expansion one? We want copper. We want silver. Oops. How do I was thinking of spelling silver? Okay, we'll make these three. I think that's probably the wrong one, but I think you can all dictionary it actually. up there when I finish with it. Now what else do we need? Tungsten plating. Copper, we've done that. Aluminium, we've done that. Tin. Okay, so we need the aluminium one from Tinker's construct. Hope we can do that without having to be clever. Silver block, lead block, and shiny. Lead and shiny. Oh. Let's have a look for the recipe of that one. In fact, this is actually the Tech Reborn one. I wonder if it's possible. Let's have a look. Do we have a recipe from mine chem for that? No, we don't. Okay, maybe I have to be clever and use ore converters. That would be not too difficult, I suppose. So the last one was shiny, wasn't it? Or platinum. Well, whether it's the right type, I don't know. So let's go downstairs here. Let's put these into the um, into the crafting unit, wherever it's gone to, over down here, for these blocks.
I'm going to create a new, a new one of these. Let's go and do that on the other side here. As long as they're touching, it doesn't make any difference. In fact, let's remove this one because it doesn't belong to the crafting unit. The molecular assembler, I mean, doesn't belong to the crafting unit, which means we can put it down on here like that, and then we can put another ME interface on top of that. And then we can fill this ME interface up with whatever we want. And we can also, I only brought one with me, didn't I? So let's put in these recipes in here. Now, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm sure it is. Nothing's ever easy. Well, some things are easy, but most of the time it's not easy. So let's get these blocks that we've got in here. I've got enough capacity to remove, I think, a block of aluminium, diamond, gold, iron, lead. Can we craft these? This might be. See, this might be the wrong type. But try it anyway. Let's craft. What do we need? Ten. I think is it ten? I'll double check it. It's a lot anyway. Whatever. It might be five for the um, tungsten plating. This is a shiny one from Thermal Foundation. Are there any recipes that we can... See, shapeless crafting should do the trick. And that would also from the metal caster. But I don't want to use a metal caster. But there's no mine chem one. If it was mine chem, it would be great. Because then you can pick... We need just five of these, don't we? Platinum five. That's working. Slowly. So what's it doing for that recipe? Let's have a look. Uh, storing, it's actually making shiny ingots. That's fine. We can do that, no problem at all. And then the next one we want is, we'll have to try it, basically. So what else have we got for blocks? We've got... Ah, oh, so it's going to be awkward. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. There's five of those. Block of silver. Let's, uh, I think it was ten of those. Let's do ten. Start that one. And that's going to come in slowly, I think. And then iron we've got. That won't change. So that's no big deal. So iron and gold are going to stay the same. Copper was another one. Here we got you see we've got the industrial craft copper anyway we need 10 not 110 just 10 will do tin of those one four five we don't need nickel and lead we want nine more else do we need tin iron gold copper platinum lead aluminium let's just check what we've got the different types in here this caps lock yeah we can craft these so we know I think we need 10 of those And I think those are the eight. Nope, I'll put that one back. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's the eighth metal? Silver heart. Okay, now let's just try this. I hope that this is going to work. Probably won't work. We'll probably have to change one, at least one of these. Okay, so right. This is what I was afraid of, as you have guessed. So right, let's have a look. Where are we going to do this? Plat tungsten plating. Where are you on my list here? So. 10 copper from Thermaldon and it's not flashing. So let's just take the copper. Think of construct and Thermaldon. So let's take the copper here and tin. Lead, aluminium, platinum. Okay. So these won't these shouldn't change. So let's go and change these two to thermal expansion I think I've got it already set up in here that's thermal expansion thermal expansion yes silver we'll push them all through see what we get and then we'll check which ones we've actually got see if that set of recipes is the correct one because then we're gonna have to force this to go through there still not working so one of these is wrong so let's have a look Let's take everything out of it and actually just do it as it should be done. So where's the recipe for this thing gone again? Down here. So it's 10 blocks of copper from Thermal Foundation. Okay. It's now next one. 10 blocks of aluminium from Tinker's Construct. Aluminium's Tecraborn. Let's just see if it actually works. Let's go and put this through here and Tinker's Construct. That's um, awkward. Let's have a look. Uh, oh dear, how am I going to do that? That's right. This is not as straightforward as I was hoping it to be. Okay. Aluminium from Tinker's Construct is aluminium from there. Fluid transpose that in using a casting frame. Chisel it. Now that would be difficult to automate. We can't cast it because we can't make the casting basin. But we can make a block of our... Uh, okay. So let's try that. I mean, we need some a bucket of. I actually probably got one already, so let's go and do that. This is what I don't like when you have got to do things like this, and really makes life a lot more difficult. So right, so let's select the block mold here, and then get out of here the chest, the aluminium. Oh, it's not in there, is it? Where have I put it? Ah, oh, it's downstairs now, isn't it? Well, this, this episode looks like it's going to be a bit of a fail. Um, I know where it is. Let's go faster. Molten aluminium. Okay, good. In fact, if everything works through that, through that, then it would work, but it would be slow. I mean, if everything, if we can make everything through here, then it would be slow. So let's just push this into here. I wonder if it's even possible to. Well, that takes a few seconds. You can't speed this up. Now you see that's foundry. That is not Tinker's construct. I wonder. It must be possible to do this. Let me take this aluminium here and then see if we can actually decomp 
pose it. There's no recipes for it, so that's. So let's just take one block of this and decompose it. I think that one block went through there, and it's not decomposing. And this drop, that's tin. Where's the other one from this one? Whereas the tech reborn one does decompose. So if that's the case, then it would normally be uh -huh, 16 in each of these would give us a block. Because each one of these represents an ingot. So let's just clear that off. Probably quicker doing it that way than clicking it 15 more times. So we can't mine chemit. We can only mine chem ingots. Probably one of these like this would do. And then I don't think we can make these into a block. Let's just try. I'm gonna looks like I'm gonna have to do some more research onto this. Let's see if we get the tech reborn block again. Oops, I just made another nine of those. Okay, well I'm gonna what I'm gonna have to do between now and the next episode is to keep trying each of these recipes. So let's see what we've got so far. Um and the choices that it basically I think that's the only thing we can do. Which of course will make the next episode interesting if we can do it. So block of aluminium tech tinker's construct see it even lets me craft it but that doesn't work does it a fluid transposer a casting frame casting frames to tinkers this might work stone tool rods dead easy just two pieces of stone makes four or two pieces of cobblestone makes two right okay let's go and make some cobblestone sticks like that don't have to f cook anything up cobble A stack of those, no problem, and that was just a frame of those, wasn't it? I don't know whether these get used up. So that was the fluid transposer. Now I've got a fluid transposer prepared somewhere, probably in here. No, not in there. What do we need? Nothing from in there is there that was any any use at all. I wonder if the auto compressor can do stuff. Yes, let's just try that. You never know, it might work differently. Just needs power. We've got power here. So if we split up this aluminium here and then put those into that like that, what are we getting out of here? Tech reborn. Okay, so it didn't help in the slightest. So we get our 18 blocks back again. So the next thing to do then is to try the, the technique with the um, fluid transposer. Where has it gone to? I might have put it in one of these two chests. I love it when I can't find things. It's a real ah fluid transposer resident perfect. So we would need to export fluid into that. So we want one of those cables we've already got already. We just maybe need the tool which we've got down here. Don't need that with me. Hmm. By the way, let's make I have some more plates in here. 192, let's craft another 64 of these. At least we can get something started while we're, while we're messing around in this, doing this. Let's see if this works now. So basically, what it says is we put the fluid transposer down here. I need a way to get stuff into it. So let's put the, I've only got three cables left, I'll probably have to make some more. That one, yep, yeah, good. And then we should be able to put the fluid export bus on the top of this one. And aluminium into the fluid export bus like that. 
and then we can set this to an input and let's put those into there and then set the top here to being input right we are getting Tinker's construct beacons fantastic Tinker's construct bulk of aluminium okay that's gonna work so now I've got to figure out a way to set up the automa automation of this saying I want however many I want I don't want it running all the time obviously otherwise I have no more aluminium left but I'm not sure how we do that because you don't have a an ME fluid interface or do we have an ME fluid interface there is certainly an ME interface in here what is it an ME fluid interface good actually while I'm at it let's make craft some more cables let's craft 32 of these while I'm thinking about it because they work in eights okay let's start that I've not used the ME fluid interface ever before, so it's a, like a, a new challenge for me. But I wonder if it's craftable flat. Yeah, it is indeed craftable flat. So maybe this is the way I have to do this. So instead of using an ME export bus in here, let's remove this. Come back. Who's going to go into that chest over there or try to? Right, I got it back. Actually, I haven't checked this chest for a while. Let's just quickly check the chest. Yeah, nothing in there special good. So let's put the ME storage fluid interface on here. So we can make patterns. But I don't know how to use this. I'm going to have to research that. So anyway. I think it's been a bit of a not successful episode, this one. But between now and the next one, we should get it all up and running. So until then, bye for now.